going? Okay. Good morning. I'm sorry. I invite you to mute yourself and turn off video until we finish this time of Lectio. You may want to have a pen and paper or a journal nearby. I need to uh, uh, find four volunteers to read our short passage this morning. Do I have any volunteers? I'll this read. Becky. Oops. Becky? Betsy, Betsy will read. <laughs> Betsy? Martha. Martha. Harrison. And Harrison, thank you. Okay. After each encounter, you can respond to a question using the chat box feature, which I'm not sure I can activate. Um, and we will uh, listen to comments. We begin with prayer. Creator of this beautiful and vast universe, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your generative power that we may not fall away from you nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our beloved redeemer and friend. Amen. We'll now come fully into the present moment God is present with you. Give your consent to being with God for this encounter. Express your willingness to hear from God in these moments by repeating after me. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. For the first encounter, listen for what word or phrase speaks to you. Becky, will you read the text, please? Certainly. Hear my cry, O God. Listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I call you when my heart is faint. That's the wrong one, actually. We're listening to uh, Psalm 131. Okay. Robert? So I'm seeing 61. I know. Here. Robert, can you spool down to do 151? It begins, O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. There, there we go. Is. There we go. Now we got to okay. make it. Yeah. There you go. Bingo. Thank you. O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O oh, Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. Are there any comments in the chat box? What word or phrase speaks to you? Weaned child that is with me. Lift it up. Calmed. Hope in the Lord. Too marvelous. For the second encounter, cover a feeling that may come up in your mind. <clears throat> Betsy, will you read it again, please? Oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. 
I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. Share any feelings in the chat box as you wish. Calm, sadness and latent hope, confused, humility. Calm, subtle. For the third encounter, what question do you have for God or for the text? Martha, will you read it again, please? Oh, Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. But I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O oh, Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. What question do you have for God? I invite you to share any thoughts in the chat box. Why is the heart not lifted up? How is my soul like a weaned child? How do I block out what is unnecessary? What is too great? What direction should I take? For this next time, what does this text invite you to ponder? Harrison, if you please. O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. What does this text invite you to ponder? <laughs> Another question that came up was, how should I proceed now? Pondering relationships. For this next reading, what is in my life today that needs to engage this text? I invite you to pick up your pen and explore thought perceptions and sensory impressions by writing or drawing or mapping ideas. What do I hear as I imagine myself in the story or hear these words addressed specifically to me? How do the dynamics of this passage connect with my own life experience? O oh Lord, 
my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me, but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. Our next question is, what is my response to God based on what I have encountered? As we engage it again, listen for your own deepest and truest response. Allow your prayer to flow spontaneously from your heart as fully and as truly as you can. Now you enter into a personal dialogue with God, sharing with God the feelings that God has aroused in us through this passage, feelings such as love, joy, sorrow, anger, repentance, desire, need, conviction, consecration. We pour out our hearts in complete honestly, honesty, especially as engaging with this passage has probed aspects of our being and doing in the midst of various issues in relationships. Notice any sense that God is actively inviting you to act or to respond in some way through this encounter. You might find it helpful again to write or draw or hold your hands in a posture of receiving. O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me. I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. For our last encounter, we will rest in God. You have given your response its full expression. Now move into a time of waiting and resting in God's presence. O oh Lord, my heart is not lifted up. My eyes are not raised too high. I do not occupy myself with things too great and too marvelous for me but I have calmed and quieted my soul like a weaned child with its mother. My soul is like the weaned child that is with me. O Israel, hope in the Lord from this time on and forevermore. To incarnate is to live out the word of God. If you have a resolution, the way you feel called to live out this encounter's wisdom, feel free to share it using the chat box. Some of our resolves are to hope in the Lord, 
quiet my soul and find the calm. Let's emerge from this place of personal encounter with God to rejoin life in the company of others. As we return to the day, we will carry this encounter with God with us and to live it out wherever the day takes us. And we will be led deeper and deeper into its meaning until it begins to live in us and we enflesh this word in our lives, homes, and community. Let us pray. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite you to turn your video on.